Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, tank mates. It is September 29th, 2019, and we have a couple more tests to do on our water because we have a critical decision to make, so let's dive right in. It is Saturday morning, and we've got an addition to the nano constellation of tools and products. GH and KH test kit. Once again, speedy shipping. Really pleased. Um, this is Reef Club, you know, in Ohio is my vendor. Real speedy shipping. And so we're gonna do, yes, the dreaded water testing again. So let me get set up for that and uh, we'll proceed to find out exactly what our general hardness and our carbonate hardness is in this water. But before we do that, I just wanted to give you a quick shot and let you see that for two days now, we are at almost zero parts per million for both ammonia and nitrate. So as always, we're going to test tap water first, five milliliters, one, two, three, four, five. Now, um, I was watching Rachel O'Leary, I don't want to get this in frame here. I was watching Rachel O'Leary talk about doing these tests, uh, Ms. Jinxed, and when she, I'm not sure, without tipping it, I can't, all right, the white line, what she was saying uh, about these test kits is you want the surface of the water to be right at the white line. I'm not even sure you can see it. Maybe you can. You don't want it to go over for the best results. So let's do our tap water first. And we're gonna do carbonate hardness. I've already shaken these up really good, but we're just gonna shake them a little bit more. And this test is a little bit different in the way it, the actual function goes. Um, a little bit different than uh, than the way our pH and nitrates and nitrites. For the for these two tests, you go one drop at a time. So one, and then you cap it, shake it up just a just a little bit, and that's blue, and that's what you want to see is a nice pretty. Uh, translucent blue and then you want to count the drops so this is two and uh, give it a little shake there now it's an even prettier blue so that's two. Um, here's three cap even prettier just the blue keeps getting prettier so that, now we're going to four and more blue And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a, let me get this green glass out of the way. That's what we're looking for. We are looking for a change from blue to yellow. Now, we're, we've counted the drops so we know exactly how many drops we used. And because we know how many drops we used, we can, we can then gauge that uh, to see how hard our water is. I have to tell you, I messed up these tests twice. So rather than filming the second set of tests, I just uh, took still shots. So our KH was 14 drops to uh, in our tank, or I mean in our tap water, and it was nine drops in our tank water um, to get to the color change. The GH was 14 drops in tank water, and I forgot to do tap water, but I don't expect it to be much different than 
what we saw in the KH. And then the total dissolved solids were 486, which is down about 75 points. So all of that is good, but this is not the bonus episode I had planned to bring you. Because as I'm um, watching the livestock in the tank over the last month or so, and watching their movement, making sure they're healthy, I noticed that the Malaysian trumpet snails, which are really dark anyway, at least one of them is carrying around a little tuft of black beard algae, which is super hard to get rid of, and I thought that everything was okay, but it's not, and so I have a decision to make. I think that cutting my tap water with distilled water is proving to bring the carbonate hardness down a little bit over time, but there is something wrong in that tank, and, and I'm convinced it's the substrate, and I may have to abandon the Wallstead method uh, because of the substrate. So in that case, in order to have healthy livestock, I have to go to an inert um, or a non some a substrate that won't affect the water column. And I looked and looked and looked today. Uh, pool sand or or playground sand would have done it, but I didn't have the ability to just run out and get some on a Saturday. Um, so. I think we're going to go with Seachem's um, Fluorite, and it is an inert substrate. It's clay, um, hardened clay particulate, so it should not raise any of our water hardness, and that's what we're after. So not the big bonus reveal uh, show that I had planned for you, but it'll be short and sweet, and to that end, if you would be so kind as to leave a like, leave a comment. We really appreciate your comments. And share this. Hit the subscribe button if you're interested in this little journey. And click the notification bell. That really helps us out. And until we see you again, we hope you're having a wonderful Indian summer weekend. And that everything is going well with you. So... God bless you. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.